Name three things on your bedside table. I think she said beeswax candle, lavender oil, and books. Although she might have also said this picture of her and her siblings as kids. Now, when I wrote this question, I was thinking you only have one bedside table, correct? You have two? Okay, so. We do. So, what is on your bedside table? Like yours specifically? Everything but the siblings. Okay. So she could say books, lavender oil, beeswax, beeswax candle. candle. Got it. Some there macho it is. life. There it is for <laughs> three points. <laughs> picture of my truck <laughs> and a leftover steak that I'm going to eat in the morning. My gun is on my bedside table. Okay. <laughs> what do you find most attractive about Carly? That there's so many of her. <laughs> All the split personalities. Characters, comedy. Um, yeah, I think she spends about 40% of our conversation in character <laughs> on a given day. And I really like that. It keeps things interesting. It's it's kind of like polygamy, but without the illegality. It's ideal. And it's simpler. Nobody, nobody's, you know, getting jealous yeah. mm, per se. Some of her personalities might. Once once there's a ring on, we'll see what that happens with that. <laughs> If you could jump on a plane together and go anywhere for a week, where would you go? Because we had such a great time on the Balkan Peninsula, I think she would be ready to go to Italy. Mm. And also the Battistuzzi homeland and all that. So I think she said Italy. Nice. I think she said Italy. Nice. We'll make that happen too. If you two could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Victoria. Cook Street Village. 964 Haywood. I think we're doing it. I think we've got that down. <laughs> well, what is Carling's favorite food? This is a hard one. Mm. I have to think. I have to pause this. Make my thinking face. It was high on the list, but I think it's fallen off because of the carbo load of the pasta. Uh, she's gotten really into kale. But that's mostly because it was 99 cents for a massive <laughs> bunch at Yates Street Market at the height of kale season. But that's gone. Now it's three bucks. So kale's out of favor too. Uh, she's mentioned recently about vinegary foods. It makes her go. Ah, 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 I bite it. That is such a good, ah, good impression. Oh I bite it. I bite it. <laughs> potatoes are a standby. This just came up in the off-camera discussion. And potatoes, potatoes are still fit for killing. So uh, I think we go with potatoes mm. as a favorite. Potatoes. Food. Yeah. All right. What is your biggest pet peeve? Uh, I like to think I'm quite a tolerant person, as Carling is. I have. Uh, some catching up to do to her but for sure she will say in some variant phraseology that uh, grammatical errors driven by suspect intellectual intentions are my pet peeve hmm. what's one thing of Carling's you would most like to throw away The desire to accumulate and maintain stuff. You want to throw that away? <laughs> I want to throw that away. <laughs> Everything else follows from there. What's one of the things that she's accumulated? Actually, we, yeah. What, one, one thing you think that she knows you want to throw away? Mm, I have to pause and think. <laughs> That, that's it. That's all I can come up with is just uh, 
an idea of stuff and she's doing it and she's there and so any one item seems unworthy of bringing up to just our our whole joint idea about living more lightly mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've seen it that wasn't very funny <laughs> what one thing did you care about most in terms of the wedding for me I think it was the social engineering project of who sits with whom at mm. dinner time Mm -hmm. That's what I was most excited to work on, as opposed to the actual day itself. So seating arrangement. Seating arrangement. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you think Carling is sexiest in a sundress, jeans and a tank, lingerie, or sweats? Trick question. The real answer is naked. <laughs> Complete this sentence. I knew I had found the love of my life when... This moment she will remember is when I hadn't told her my sneeze poop story for a few days after the Apocal incident. And then I did tell her and she laughed. And I was like, okay, this is it's fine. If I can tell her the <laughs> sneeze poop story, I can tell this woman anything. <laughs> I was sold. <laughs> sold down the river.